beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today is a collab video. It is a 4th of July collab I'm doing with a bunch of other wonderful ladies on here on YouTube. And um, what we did was we cut a whole bunch of us together and um, there will be like a link down below. It'll just be like one link and when you click on it, it'll take you to a playlist and then in that playlist you'll be able to see everybody in there and it'll just play the videos as it goes. Uh, so then that way you're not clicking on a whole bunch of different links uh, to each person. Um, we, I had done that before in a um, collab that was, I think it was like a Christmas collab or something like that. Um, and it was really fun and it was a really good idea. So it does help a lot when you're trying to do a video collab to do this playlist because then everybody's just in that one playlist and then you don't have to worry about clicking on a bunch of videos. Really? I don't know what these people are doing. I keep hearing... It sounds like somebody seriously needs a muffler. Something's tied on their muffler. Like, why? I'm filming. I'm going to show you real quick of the products that I used. Um, it's a red, white, and blue theme, of course, because 4th of July. I really had a tough time thinking of what to do because, um, I don't know, I just, I always like to just stick with some looks and different things. So I did paint my nails, they're kind of a red, you know, like a red, um, which would have helped. It's one of Fergie's nail polishes and I didn't bring it in here with me. But anyway, there's my red. And then my shirt's white, so I figured there's my white. And then for my eyes, I did some blue on my eyes. It's like a bluish brown, bluish brown color. I figured anybody could get away with using this look because then that way you don't have to worry about being too bold and, and everything. So I just thought this was a really, really good look. Which my hair is like getting funky there. Really good look. Um, that anybody can do if they wanted to, you know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the products that I did use. Like I said, ding ding me for the fingernails. For my primers on my face, I used the Smashbox Photo Ready Foundation Primer. Uh, it's a luminous oil free. I used that for my face. On my lips, I used the Lip Insurance Too Faced Lip insurance. Um, and then on my eyes, I used uh, Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Use that on my eyes. Along with, on my eyes, I did use Mally's, um, the, her eye base that I like to use a lot. I used that for under my, for under my eyes to smooth the smooth it out. I use the uh, Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother. Love this stuff. Don't mind my voice. I'm trying to get rid of a cold, by the way, and it's just not working at all. For foundation, for foundation, I ended up using, my hair keeps winning. I've been using the Superstay Better Skin uh, Foundation. It's the new one from Maybelline right now, and I have been using this a good bit. I will have a video coming up and doing a review and demo on it. So far, so far so good. I'm liking it. Um, I'll let you know more um, in what my thoughts are of it, but so far I'm really liking it. So I did use that along with, I got the concealer also, the Better Skin, Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um, really good. Maybelline never disappoints me with Concealer, so that's another good concealer from them. The eyebrows, I used my Tarte, uh, the Brow Architect from Tarte. I love, love this thing. I will repurchase this one day when it's, I've been going through different things with my brows, so that was for my brows. Um, my mascara, of course, the Super Sizer uh, from CoverGirl. It's right there. <laughs> Um, uh, eyeliner I used was uh, Brazen Blue from Mally, and uh, you'll see where I put that under the 
uh, eye area, like along the lash line. Um, and I tight lined with the Tarte, Tarte Cashmere, oops, Black Magic Tarte Cashmere Eyeliner. Tight lined with that. I used a CoverGirl Intensify Me eyeliner on the top area. Um, on my lips, I used a combo of the new Color Blur from Maybelline, their new Color Blur lipsticks in blushing, or I'm blushing. That's the Color Blur from Maybelline, their new lippies. And topped it with a lip gloss from my little buxom set that I have. It's an Erica. It's just a little mini one. Oh, I forgot to mention, I used the Master Conceal from Maybelline also. I kind of just highlighted a little bit more under the eyes. The other one I concealed with. Uh, on my face, I also used Pure Minerals, um, the 4-in-1 that I like to use a lot of times to set everything when I do my foundation in it. Um, and then on my eyes, I used Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee. I used M Mally's um, City Chick in Buff palette, and I used several colors in here. Her All Natural, Bubbly, and Buff in this one. I For the blue, I used Mally's Blue in her City Chick I Love Color palette. These you can get in Alt, I believe. Or obviously on e uh, eBay and stuff. Um, there's our pop art blue. I used that in conjunction with because it wasn't really giving me the full on blue that I wanted for some reason. I went my uh, BH Party Girl palette and I was using this teal blue color here. I used my Buxom blush in uh, Levitate. These are really nice blushes. Let's see, Levitate. And it's just a neutral shade. I actually use it as a topper, I guess. I double blushed like some of the other wonderful beauties out there that talk about double blushing. The other blush I used was the Dolly blush that came in my kit in here. This is the uh, Buxom High Roller kit, um, and it is the uh, Dolly blush, and I used the highlighter that's in there. And then for contouring, I used my Yes Yes La Rock Pro uh, for contouring, and um, so I used that for the contouring and a little eye setting under the eyes and then I used my to top everything off and to finish the whole thing I used my Mally um, Perfect Skin Illuminating Refiner love this stuff so I used that to top everything I believe that's it <laughs> so, so yeah that's kind of what uh, how I came up with this whole look and um, it's not going to be a real long video, hopefully, because I'm going to try and shorten it up. Some of the lighting has been crazy because um, I tried starting to film during the daytime. Just everything just got a little bit crazy. Eh, you know, it is what it is when you're filming and trying to get stuff in order. And then plus it was storming. We've got bad storms here. So yeah, beauties, um, I'll go ahead and let you go to the next part of the video where you can see me showing you what products I apply, like how I apply them and where I apply them at and um, and then I'll be back after that. So, all right, let's go to the next part of the video. All right, let's hope I do this correctly. And it's so crazy because like I said, my voice is still, mm, still fighting the battle with this wonderful cold. So I'm gonna bring it down my camera hair a little bit. Obviously this isn't the top I'm gonna be wearing. I'm going to go ahead and go into Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. 
It's one of my favorites to use as a transition color. So we're going to tap into that and work it in first. I did prime, did prime myself, my face, my eyes, everything. Um, probably at the beginning of the video, I'll probably show you everything that I used anyway, but uh, I did already do the prime uh, part for my eyes and everything, and for my face and my lips. <laughs> so, uh, probably they look a little bit pale, but anyhow. I'm gonna work this in my, just right above the crease, is where I'm adding creme brulee. And um, you'll see, it, 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 at first it seems like crazy because I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look. But these colors look, I've seen pictures, kind of like where I got the idea for the look. I've seen others do it and um, just itself um, uh, looking at the, how it looks on other people, just beautiful. Now I'm going to find another shade that I can work in with that. Because I'm going to use this Mally palette. And I think the color I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this color called Buff in Mally's um, palette. I need to get me some more of these. I love these palettes from Mally. But then again, you know me, I'm a huge Mally fan. I'm going to try and put that just a little bit in with that. and work it in just to darken and deepen it up a little bit. Now, obviously if you don't have these eyeshadows, you can find stuff similar to the creme brulee and the uh, buff color from Mally. Just find a couple shades that you like to use as a maybe transition increased color kind of thing for um you know that you use a lot maybe or that you do prefer and i like to go in circular motion here in the corner and swivel back and forth a windshield wiper method that Mally's taught me I'm next gonna go into another palette of Mally's that I have that has the blue that I want. Um, and it's, oops, wrong one. This one is in her I Love Color palette. And it is the shade, um, oh my gosh, if I can remember, Pop Art Blue is the shade. And it's this blue color right here. That I'm gonna go ahead and use on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Makeup Geek a little bit and work in with that to kind of soften it up a little bit. Okay, I had to like wing it around here a little bit because um, pop art blue wasn't kind of unfortunately getting what I wanted. So these two mixed together. I'll show you what it is. I don't know the shade. I just know what palette it's in. But I'll show you here in a minute. It seems to be working pretty good for the blue color. Yeah. What I ended up doing was I was going in my uh, party gap. Uh, party. B BH, BH Party Girl palette, and there's this blue on the bottom here. I'm mixing that with the Pop Art Blue and kind of getting a little more vivid blue there that I'm 
trying to go ahead and dig into dig. That's also funny. The bubbly shade. It's kind of a shimmery shade right there, that bubbly. And um, kind of work it just a little bit in the inner tier. Like Dabby Do. It's there. Interesting because the picture I'm looking at looks like it has some kind of lighter color that works in with in with it. So I'm gonna lighten it just a little bit here with bubbly. I'm going to go in this white shade in the BH Cosmetics. I kind of figured I was going to need this BH Cosmetics kit, and I'm glad I did, because um, it just has some unique colors, and um, it just works out for me sometimes when I'm doing the look. But um, this is what um, I have, like with the brown and the blue mixed in. And like I said, like anybody can do this look. Um, like in through here, I used the uh, bubbly, like I was saying with uh, Mally, to kind of lighten it up in through there so it's not too crazy or cray cray, as my wonderful Mally does say. And um, I like the blue. So I'm gonna go on the bottom uh, part. I put my mascara on my eyeliner. I didn't want to do that on camera because you've seen me do that several different times. I just wanted to kind of show you the little eye look itself to get the blue uh, together. And like obviously I have the red on my nails. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on my lips. I'm, I'm gonna go in the buff palette, my Mally in the buff palette. And I'm gonna use the, I think it's, is it diamond? Yeah, the chocolate diamond color, the very last one. That dark one. I'm gonna work it just halfway, or not fully halfway, just a little smidge uh, working into. The one thing I didn't show that I used along on my lower lash line area, because you can see some blue there. This brazen blue I love for Maui to give me. I never thought I would like this color of a blue, but I, I, I love it, so I did that. Now let's do the chocolate diamond. Not sure how well this brush is gonna be, but we'll find out. But, oh yeah. It's giving me what I want anyway, which is good. When it's giving you what you want, that's a good thing. I didn't put no uh, mascara yet on the lower. Um, lashes, let's get the bubbly. <laughs> I'm saying that's so funny. I do a little bit more of the chocolate. All right, beauties, so that was everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to go down below uh, where it has more info or whatever it has there now and um, open that part up and you can go ahead and see there'll be a link and it'll take you to all of the beauties everybody that's in the collab you can go ahead and watch them all everybody has something different some are going to be showing some wonderful uh, nail ideas I think some will always be doing some fashion just it'll just be a little of everything there might be crafts I'm not sure I, I'll be excited to see what everybody comes up with too because I'm not going to know until I get to watch them too, so I can't wait to see what everybody got to come up with. And um, I do have to mention this whole collab originally came from the beautiful Rosa Beauty and Fashion. She brought it to my attention and asked me to help somewhat. Unfortunately, so much had gone on and I was um, in the middle of doing a contest and then I had so much stuff going on here that I ended up ill. And it's babysitting, just like everything hit me all at once. So the beautiful, beautiful, if I could talk, 
the beautiful Andrea, uh, I believe natural, is it naturally something, um, I'm trying to remember the girl's, uh, the channel name and the girl, uh, Andrea, what her channel name was, and it's naturally Anne. Um, Andrea is the one that kind of really put everything in, in together, uh, for the video, like did the playlist and all those kind of things. So really, I have to give hats off a lot to her and, and to Rosa more. Um, because I just really didn't get the chance to really, uh, get to help out with too much of any of it. Like, I started off emailing everybody, but then, um, or emailing certain people and stuff, and then Rosa was telling me who to email, and then just everything started getting too crazy for me and everything, and then I ended up ill, and that was pretty bad, so. Anyway, beauties, um, I really appreciate you all, uh, watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, like I said, don't forget to check out the other beauties and um, also subscribe to them if you're not subscribed to them um, and show them some love. I'm sure they'd appreciate that very much. Alright beauties, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I just, I would appreciate it very much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week for some videos. Um, just to come up here and there throughout the week and um, I would so love to have you and join a part of the beauty family and as always please please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you all take care and I will see you then I love you guys so much and thank you for all the wonderful support it means very much to me so, bye bye Yeah, bye-bye.